divas and dudes what's up good people good people good people ah. <laughs> i'm sorry this has been a long week it is thursday so happy thursday to everybody um it is thursday january the 19th um oh man i did something wrong what I'm doing right now is I just got home because my church had a, um, the music department of my church had a gathering tonight, a little get together for us. And they want us to be like family. So they wanted some time that we come together and we are not just singing all the time, but that we actually, um, were coming together, um, you know, in worship i mean not just coming together in worship and for rehearsals but coming together i'm gonna lift you guys up a little bit yeah maybe i can make this work can i make this work but coming together to um you know just to get together and um that's better um, just to get together and just get to know one another. Um, and you guys know, I I don't know if you guys know or if I ever shared it with you guys, but I am such an introvert, okay? Um, I am such an introvert. I, I'd rather be home or be by myself. But tonight, I was like, you know what? I'm going to go and I'm going to... Um, I'm going to get out of the house. I'm going to go and I'm going to have fun. And I actually did. I had a good time. I um, mean, it wasn't that long. It was just like an hour and a half, but it was really, really nice. Um, they had it catered with the church caterer. Um, and the only thing is that I ate something with pork in it and now my head is hurting. So what I'm doing right now is trying to get, take, um, take one of my blood pressure pills that I only take in the morning because I only take one a day and it's not that big of a dosage um it's only 12 and a half milligrams why does it say 20 milligrams and it says 12.5 milligrams I have no idea interesting I never noticed that but anyway um uh, excuse me I don't if, if you've been watching my channel, like, if you've been a subscriber of mine for a long time, you guys know I don't eat pork. And it's not a religious thing or anything like that. I'm, I'm, it's not anything with religion. It's health-wise for me um, because of my blood pressure. And being that I have such a stressful job, um, my job is so stressful that that takes my pressure up. So there's no need to contribute by eating pork to make the whole situation worse. So I'm really not a pork eater. Um, I eat it probably once a year. So I ate that. I only ate a little tiny bit, but it hurt my head tonight. And um, for Christmas, I had a small piece. No, Thanksgiving, I had a small piece of ham. I haven't had anything. So I don't, I don't indulge in pork a lot now i people that can eat it i i'm so jealous of you if you are a pork eater and y'all can cook pork in your house i'm so jealous because i can't do it i can't do it but anyway um so my head started hurting a little bit so i was like let me go home and take because i didn't bring this with me so i had to come here and, and take one um i have to leave these on my desk now so that um I have to leave these on my desk now so that I can, um, oh, I see what this means. Um, I have to leave these on my desk so that in the morning I don't forget because I take it as soon before I eat anything. Um, and it really keeps my pressure down. My pressure has been really, really good. The last couple of times I've been to the doctor, my pressure has been like excellent. I went for my checkup in December, um, my yearly checkup. And my doctor took my my pressure and he was shocked. He was like, no, he didn't take it. His nurse took it. He was like, her pressure is like wonderful. And I'm, I wanted to say, can I come off of the medicine? But I don't have, my medicine is not that much. And I can feel the difference when I don't take it. So I think I better stick to it just to be on the safe side. Um, but like I said, it's, it's only 20 milligrams. So it's not that much. It's not a big dosage. Um, as long as he, he does not increase the dosage, I think I'm good. Because I don't want anything strong that make make me not feel like me. Um, but anyway, I enjoyed myself. I had a good time. And also, what I'm going to do too is I drink a lot of water. So, I'm going to flush about, probably about 10 of these tonight before I go to bed. 
<laughs> okay, not 10. Maybe, because I'm almost done with this one, maybe five more or something like that. But I drink a lot of water throughout the day, so. That's what's going on with me. Um, I was going to video, but then I didn't feel like pulling out the camera. So I was going to video, um, but I actually never got around to doing it. So that didn't happen, but it was really nice. They had it in one of our, um, room, one of our, um, auditoriums in the church and they had the tables, they had the round tables set up for us in the back and it was just a little bit of us, but we had a good time. Um, I rocked my, these, these earrings by La Joyce Creation for the first time. So I rocked these tonight. Yeah, I rocked those tonight. Yes, yes, yes. And then I rocked, oh, I rocked this ring that I got for Christmas. This, this is the first time I'm wearing it. I like it because it's a little different. Come on and focus. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, well, I rocked, there it is. I rocked that ring tonight. And then, of course, I rocked this ring. I got this one for Christmas as well. I like this ring. It's different. Got kind of like diamonds on it a little bit. And then I rocked my La Joy to Creations bracelet tonight because I had on olive pants. And I like to wear this when I wear olive. So, um, but that's what's going on. Um, God gave me a word today. Um, well, he had gave me the word last night. And then today I got confirmation of the word. Um, so I was like, wow, like, God, you are really, 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 I'm going through some things right now. And I'm, I started to do a video last night, but I was just so discouraged last night. But I'm going through some things right now. And in the mix of me going through, God is still intervening in me. And um, he had me where I said, you know what, God, last night I told him, I said, I give it to you. It's not mine. It's yours. For the what the the battle is not yours, it belongs to God. So I am not even gonna worry about it. God's gonna work it out, he's gonna fix it, and that's all I can say. I gave it to God last night. I told him it's yours. You handle it. I can't do it no more. I'm tired. You know, I don't have the capacity or the strength <coughs> strength or the power in me to fight this anymore. I need you to do it. So I just, right now, I'm trusting and believing God. And I'm on a whole nother faith walk right now. I'm on another whole faith walk. So, and I believe that he's going to work it out. I believe he's going to bring me out of debt. I believe he's going to work out things financially. I believe he's going to work out things spiritually. I believe he's going to work out these things in my favor. Because we serve a God that never, what? never fails so <laughs> i didn't come on here to preach tonight i just came on here just to say hello on today because i did not vlog on yesterday and i just came on here just to speak to you all and just to just to chit chat because you know i told y'all i ain't got nothing else to do so let me just chit chat with y'all um, but I had a good time tonight. I wish I would have videoed, but I didn't. Um, I had a very good time tonight. Um, yeah, that's about all that's going on. Um, I do have to go into the office tomorrow, um, because I got three meetings, <laughs> three meetings, um, that I have to go to. And, um, yeah. Tomorrow is Friday and I got to go into the office, which I'm going to hate, but I got to go because I got to go to these meetings and I got to get things taken care of. So, yeah. But that is all that is going on with moi. Uh, what do I have planned for the weekend? I have absolutely nothing planned for the weekend. I do want to go see my family, though. I got some disturbing news today. So, um... I, need, I, I do want to go see my family. I went to see my family last weekend, last Friday. Um, I'm trying to think, do I want to go tomorrow to see my family? I don't know. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I got to get... You know what? While I'm talking to you guys... There are some things that I need 
to take to the office with me tomorrow. So I need to be getting that together. I need to be getting that together. Yeah, I got some things that I need to, I need to take into the office tomorrow. Uh, that I need to, I need to discuss, so, yeah. So I'll take those things with me. Um, I think that's all I need to take. Yeah, I think this is all I need to take with me tomorrow. Um, I'm hoping not to be there all day, but if nobody's seen me in two, three, none of them seen me this year, actually. So, I'm hoping that I don't be up there all day because, you know, talking and chit-chatting with everybody and seeing everybody and, yeah. So, um, I don't know. I got a lot of things I need to take. Let me see, I'm gonna take this with me as well because I need to change that. Yeah, guys, I'm just, um, I am trying to go, um, I am trying to go um, and be a home rep for, not a home rep. I'm trying to work from home for my second job as well. So pray guys that I get, get it. Um, I applied for it. I haven't gotten approved yet. So... I am, um, I'm hoping, oh, there's my paper I was looking for the other day. I gotta get my whole office situation straight in here. Excuse me, but I am hoping, um, to work from home for that job as well. If I can do that, it would be perfect. Um, but I, I definitely wouldn't do that from this room. I would have to have them set that up downstairs because this room is so sole proprietary to my uh, full-time job. I got like work stuff everywhere. So this is like my work office for my full-time. So I definitely, definitely um, don't want to do that from here. But anyway, I mean from this room, it'll have to be, um, it will definitely have to be downstairs. But yeah, everything's going good. Um, I didn't do an outfit of the, today for this outfit I had on tonight because I've already done an outfit of today with it, I think. Yeah, I did. I already have an outfit of today with it, so I didn't want to do another one. The only thing I changed different is my jewelry with what I'm wearing. But I was finally glad to wear these, man. I was glad that I could finally rock these tonight. I've been waiting, waiting to wear these, so. Yes. Yes. I'm trying to decide if I want to braid my hair up, though, for my birthday. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. I am trying to decide if I want to braid my hair up for my birthday. I kind of want to braid my hair up for my birthday. That is kind of um, what I want to do. Because I want to just braid my hair up so I don't have to do anything to it for a while. So I kind of want to put some micro braids in it. I'm also working on a project um, for my table downstairs because the Christmas decoration that I had on it, I packed up the two glass things for next year. I mean, for the end of, for the Christmas for this year, um, I packed them up and put them all in the attic. Um, and I'm, I made some gold pieces to go along with the gold ones that are on my fireplace. And I'm going to put those on the table. So I cannot wait until those are finished um, and get those done. Yeah, I, I got today. I, 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 um, I'm going to take you down so I can show this. Today I pulled out my handy, handy journal. I have not written in my journal. I have so many journals, guys. I seriously have a lot of journals and I have not 
written in a journal in so long and I kept saying that one of my my new year resolutions was to write in my journal again well today God started speaking some things to me as I was listening to someone um on Facebook and God started confirming and speaking some things to me that he was speaking to me on last night um and then um I mean, it's like he was giving me a word. That's how God works with me. It, it's so crazy how I'll go into a season of drought where I don't have anything from God to um, minister to people or to say to people. And then all of a sudden, God just starts speaking. So I'm in the middle of work and I'm like, oh my God, I'm trying to work at the same time as right. It was just hilarious because I was writing and working, writing and typing, writing and typing, writing in my book and typing, writing in my book and typing. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, like he, I never get it on the computer. I get it on paper. And so I had this in my desk drawer and I was like, you know what? Let me pull out my book and then just let me just start. So this is my first journal entry for 2017, which is January 17th, 2017. And God have, you all know that as of last year, God was dealing with me and the last time I wrote was July 11th of 2016 wow and then before then it was August 2nd 2015 so I haven't I have not written anything really in this book since I bought my house I wrote it here a week after I bought my house I purchased my house so um yeah and then I got how, I, and then I got a design of how, <laughs> I got a design I drew of how I was going to arrange this room. And ain't that something? I'm in here now. Isn't that a blessing? How I was going to arrange this room and I have it arranged just like, and I didn't even look at this when I arranged it. Isn't that crazy? That is so crazy. That is so crazy. But anyway, I, um, God drip, dropped some things in my spirit today. And, you know, last year I just talked about love a lot. It's like he was dealing with love with me. And I don't have a mate. I don't have anybody uh, that I'm in a relationship with. Um, but for some reason, God was dealing with me with love, not just relationship wise, um, like as if I was in a, in a relationship, but he was dealing with me with about love with other people, uh, family. Uh, with my family and with um, and with uh, uh, other with my friends and with everybody and just me becoming a person to say to the people that are close to me I love you or or just to to you know things I, I would never open up to love openly with people so God had been dealing with me about love and that's why last year I kept saying show love because he was dealing with me on that because I had a problem to show with showing love like I'm gonna tell you guys like I was a person like <laughs> ah, uh love I'm not telling you I love you no and to show it Side eye. <laughs> so God was dealing with me um, a lot about love. And the church that I attend, I love my church. The church that I attend, they show love a lot. So I believe that that's one of the reasons God sent me there is because I'm learning to love. And the way that Christ loved us, he wants us to love others the same way. So God was just dropping a whole lot of good stuff, good nuggets into my book today um, that he was giving me um, sermon wise. And like I said, a lot of times um, I don't have nothing like God, God will drop, start dropping things into my spirit sermon wise. And I have to immediately write it down like I have to immediately type it into my phone or I have to write it down because when he starts speaking, I got to I'm not going to remember everything that he said. So I'm starting to I start to pick up my phone. If I don't have a notebook near or paper, I just start typing it into my my notebook on my phone. And, and and that's how I keep up with what God is speaking to me because he speaks to us. But there's not all the time that he speaks to us. Sometimes we we don't talk. He don't say nothing. <laughs> 
And then there's sometimes he's dropping stuff on you, dropping things into your spirit. And so I, I started journaling today and I want to continue to journal. I want to continue um, to go and, and, and write down the things that God gives me and write down the things that God um have for me to minister to other people so um yeah your girl is like on it like and i love this book i actually purchased this book myself i actually always buy other women journals but for this particular time i purchased a journal for myself and my journal says journal i will praise you oh lord with my heart i will tell of your wonders I will be glad and rejoice in you. I will sing praise to your name, O Most High, which is Psalms 9, 1 through 2. And then on each page, it has a, this is a nice journal. On each page, it has let, different scriptures to kind of uh, encourage you. So maybe I'll start reading one of the scriptures during my, um, doing, oh my Lord. And this is, <laughs> This is so funny because I didn't even read them today when I was writing because he was giving things to me so fast. I was just writing, writing, writing and typing and writing and typing and writing and typing that I didn't even read the pages that he he had me write on. And I'm looking at one of the pages and this is a confirmation from God right here. One of the pages um, says... It's my favorite scripture. And it's the scripture that I have in my bio before I preach. And it's my favorite scripture. I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. And what did I just say earlier before our, when I was talking? I said, this year, this future is going to be better. God is going to take care of it. He's going to work everything out. I ain't going to worry about it. But now I'm, God got the plan. God knows that's it right there. God has got, God's got the plan. And that's all I'm going to say from now. God's got the plan because it's not my plan, but it's all his plan. And then another one that says, delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart is one of the other scriptures it says. And then um, the other, I wrote on three pages today. The other page says, our Lord and God, you are my lamp. You turn darkness into light amen amen and amen <laughs> so yeah god is just i wrote on four pages i'm sorry i said three the last one says christ will make his home in your hearts as you trust in him did i say i told you last night i said god is yours you take care of it I'm trusting him. And it says your roots will grow down into God's love and keep you strong. And God knows right now I need strength. I need to be strong to go through what I'm going through right now. Y'all, I did not come on here to preach. Oh my God, let me stop. Oh my God, oh my God. Anyway, this is my book. I paid $2.99 for it. And I got it from, um, I want to say City Trend. City Trend have nice, um, books for not that expensive nice journals and I really love going there to buy people I, I like to buy young ladies uh, young women uh, journals uh, young women of God journals to encourage them so that's something that I like to do um, when I'm able to bless somebody I like to bless them with a journal um, that will it will encourage them um, my boss purchased a journal for me before and I love it I truly, truly love it. The journal she purchased for me is actually in my bag out there. So, um, but I love the journal. She has scriptures in her journal that she gave me as well. And then I had purchased this one, but I hadn't finished any, all, none of my journals are finished because I end up stopping some sometime. But I'm asking God this year to let me continue to journal. Let me continue to write down the thoughts and write down the things that he give me and write down, um, what, what he speak through me. Um, because what God did today um is something that he's put in a sermon sermon wise for me um so that when i preach somewhere um this is what he's dealing with me on and, and dealing with me to share with the body of christ so um that's what this sermon to, that one he gave me today is a body of christ message <laughs> god knows is a body of christ message so um yeah yeah so that's all that's going on. I'm not going to talk you guys crazy. I am actually going to get myself 
together figure out what I'm wearing to work tomorrow um tomorrow we can wear jeans but I don't know if I want to wear jeans type thing so I don't know what I'm going to um what I'm going to wear tomorrow but we will see I will throw something together just as long as I'm cute okay and um I'm trying to decide if I want to wear her tomorrow yeah I think I'm gonna wear her tomorrow I keep saying I'm going to stop wearing her, but Lord have mercy, every time I turn around, I'm putting her on. So, yeah. She she comes in handy. Y'all just don't know. She comes in handy. So, I will chat with you guys later, and you guys take care, and don't forget to be who? The best that you can be. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell over there. All right, come and take this journey along with me. All right, bye.